Hey guys, I just got this new Arteza 48 Real Brush Pens. Um, they had a flash sale on them at Amazon. And I went ahead and I got them, plus they had a coupon, which is always awesome. In the case, they do have all the colors listed on the bag. But the colors are also listed um, on each pen and also a number. So I'm going to swatch them out and uh, number and label them. First off, when you get this and you see this, throw that in the trash. Those are no good at all. I hate them. Get you a good brush. Come with this. You get four stacks. Really nice. And we'll just start swatching some of these. Um apologize if you hear any noise in the background my family's over there in the front playing um some kind of video game I don't know all right let's start and these are supposed to be um water soluble all right let's see this one is There's a number I saw it. Fair skin. That does not look like fair skin. It looks orange. Let me get a little closer for you guys. See, that does not look like skin. That looks... On the camera it does, but to me it looks like pumpkin. Pumpkin color. They are very, very um, flimsy is maybe a word I want to say. There's like nothing to them. It's very, very soft. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying it's very, very soft. This is lemon yellow. This one is bumblebee yellow. I wanted to get the whole 90 something set, but it was just way too expensive. I'm just gonna put B B yellow. <laughs> oh no. It's weird because there's like you know, a regular marker, it, there's, oh, some of the caps are really hard to open, wow, um, you know, the regular marker, there's some resistance, this is just like a real, um, paintbrush, it's a real thin paintbrush, but the colors come out really good, really nice what color is this sunset yellow but this looks like a brown to me this one is orange rust oh this would be good for the fall I, for me personally, I can never get enough greens and browns. Always need greens and browns. This one, orange rust. Just says orange. It's got really good coverage, though, y'all. Literally, I mean, you see how quickly I fill in that square. This is a really good pumpkin orange color. 
This one is candy and orange. Ah, oh, these cut. These are. I hope they get easier to open because right now they suck. That is totally not a square. Oh man, that's pitiful. I'm going to put sad key, cat, orange. I know what I'm talking about. This one is red. Oh my god, I don't know what they're doing in there. I'm making monster sounds. A really good deep red color. I mean, the it just comes right out. It's really they're really really nice autumn red. This one is neon pink. I should have just did circles, huh? I don't know why I always do squares. Maybe when it dries it'll look neon, but as of right now... is wine red yeah I had to message them about the caps it's not cool but something I do have to say oh it does look like the color of wine something I do have to say though is with my asthma I've said before that I have a lot of issues um, I actually had to give away my Prisma markers because the smell was so bad I don't smell anything there's no odor with these that's great what is this wine red I'm wondering now if I can get um probably not I'm just gonna say like sometimes you can get it dick foot open stock to get the rest of the colors but I highly doubt it great purple I guess it's got a hint of purple to it. These are some colors that I've never seen that I don't have, you know. Where's my pen? All right, that's the first. The first case is done. We go on to the next one. And the first one is bubblegum pink, which looks a lot like the neon pink. But the neon pink looks like it has a little bit more orange hint to it as it's wet, though. One is rouge pink. You see how easy it just comes out? No pressure at all. Because, like I said, this is just a, um, it's just a very, very, th not, I don't want to say flimsy, because that's not the right word. But it's just like a regular paintbrush. Rouge pink is very pretty up next to that bubblegum pink. bubble bath pink this time these are going to be nice for little details and stuff 
bubble bath pink. Now we're getting into the purples. This one, light magenta. Plant purple. These squares are a hot mess. Oh my God. Wisteria purple. I love wisteria. They have a beautiful wisteria tree right down the street from me, and the owner keeps cutting it all the way back so it doesn't flower. And I just oh, I want to murder them. I hate it. It's so beautiful when it blooms. I don't know why he does that. Wisteria purple. Periwinkle. Oh, you can y'all hear how hard of a time I'm having with these caps? So far, that's the only bad thing I have to say is the caps. Blueberries very close to each other. This one is night sky blue. It was kind of like a grayish blue. Gray black blue. I like it. night sky blue. This one is true blue. This is starting to hurt my hands. Seriously y'all, and I'm not a wuss. <laughs> Last one in this case is denim blue. Oh, that one opened easy. Denim blue looks a lot like sky midnight. Um, I mean night sky blue. It's got that grayish tint to it. These have numbers on them too, but 
I'd rather just know the names of them. All right. Yeah, these two are almost identical. Just a little tiny bit lighter, this one. And you can tell more when it starts drying. But so far, the colors are really nice. This one's called Sapphire Blue. I can't wait to see what they do with water. Somebody asked me a while back which pencil, I mean, what pen I use to write, because I use it throughout my books. This is my favorite, favorite pen to write, whoop, write with. It's the Uniball Air. I absolutely love it. I buy it on Amazon in bulk, and I keep some at my house, and keep some in my purse, and then I have some at work. And people try to steal them all the time. Even my my boss has tried to steal them. <laughs> They're like, hey, that's a nice pen. Yes, it is. Give it back. This one is called Bright Blue, which it really is. I am really, really loving these colors. This one is Arctic Blue. I think I have a problem now and this happens to me all the time um ice blue ouch um oh, this was very very light my problem is i got this set of 40 something i knew i should have got the 90 something so my sister's watching this she'll be happy to know that she'll get this set and I'll go buy the big <laughs> ice blue. That's a different color. You don't see that very color very often. This one is teal. I love teal. Very pretty. I am, I'm telling y'all, I am very excited about this line. I usually don't get this excited about markers, but I mean, there is no odor. Zero. The colors are beautiful. The names are awesome. I haven't even added water to them yet, guys. You don't have to. You can use them just like, oh, this one's called Turtle Green. You can use them just like this. just abbreviate that getting into all these greens now this one is seaweed oh yeah that does look like seaweed um, these are reminding me of my um jane davenport watercolors with all her mermaid her mermaid colors This one is Parakeet Green. I have too much light going on in this video. I've got two overhead lights on it. Let me see if this helps. No. Parakeet Green. light green this one's not as juicy maybe maybe not I don't know light 
light green. This one looks like an olive. Crocodile green. I mean, y'all see how easy it all colors in, fills in. I'm just going to put crop green. I'm from Louisiana. I know what them crocs look like. Um, olive green. Here's the olive green. They always have one in every set. If any of you have bought this set and then decided that you wanted the bigger set, let me know if it was like a really big difference in colors or if they were just a lot of this, you know, the same kind. Um, I'm curious because I might want to wait for a flash sale and get the bigger set now. I really, really think I might. What did I say this one was called? Green tea. Green tea. All right, that's it for this set. We got one more, and we're going into the browns and then the grays. This one's called chamomile. All right, this is another greeny color. really really pretty I could not remember if Camille had one L or two and then next we have ginger I remember when my little my daughter was little and the spice girls were huge She's 25 now, so. But when she was little, she was probably about two, three years old. She used to sit around with her little jewelry and stuff on and said that she was ginger. I'm ginger spice. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Tawny. Oh, God, these are hard to open. I guess they do that for a reason to keep them juicy maybe, but wow. Tony. And then we got chocolate. This one is walnut brown. Oh, it is really dark too. Walnut brown. This one is coffee. This has a lot more black in this color than the walnut. I love the range of greens and browns so far. This one's called Ash Black. Ash Black. Which just looks like a dark gray gray and black mixed up. We've got like five more left. This one is elephant 
gray. My hands hurt. I'm not even kidding, y'all. Elephant gray. And it is the perfect color for elephant. Dolphin gray. Oh, this is like a lot like the ice blue. Is that the color of dolphins? <laughs> Dolphin gray. This one is Parma Gray. This one is no Nor. I'm saying that right, which is just solid black. This is a very, very good deep black. I like it. Good coverage. Wow, y'all, I'm really liking this color palette. And there is absolutely no odor. Zero. Alright. They're drying a little bit so you can see them a little easier and have a little better true to color oh, oh, oh the focus is going all crazy come on all right. I hate when it does that focus mm -hmm. um all right guys ow I am done. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Put them down at the bottom. I appreciate you watching. Sorry for the lighting. It keeps going out now. It's not focusing on anything. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, anything about the, um, the markers, let me know. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.